are these temperatures? Upper 60s in Wellsville, what's up with that? It's raining and there's cloud cover. Outside of that though, upper 70s to low 80s, these temperatures are around average, but the humidity, my goodness, look at that, 70 degrees. When you see the 70s, that is tropical humidity. 72 in Olean, so upper 60s to low 70s in our dew points. I always tell you, when the dew points are close to the temperatures, that air is quite moist. So I'm bringing out the muggy meter. At noon, I was being nice, right? I put over here. Now I've got it and leave me alone. You go outside and you're like, mm, I don't want to do this. And I wouldn't blame you if you want to do this. You want to go back inside and put on the air conditioning. 79 degrees is our normal. 81 is where we made it today. 71, those overnight lows, folks. Sunday and Monday were nice. After that, it's going to be warm and muggy. We've got a quite unsettled stretch ahead. You can see that on 7 Super Doppler. And everyone's talking about Fred, but this is not Fred. Let me zoom things out. I'll give you some of the dynamics going on. We've got a low pressure system, low pressure system here. This is Fred between Tennessee and North Carolina here. That's your tropical depression Fred. However, the winds are coming from the south. We are borrowing moisture from that. We've got that low pressure system, pop-up showers and thunderstorms today. It's been quite an unsettled day. So what's going to happen with the Erie County Fair? Nothing so far. I wouldn't rule out some showers though. I mean, it is warm and humid. Bring the rain gear just in case. If you're not going to the fair food truck Tuesday, same thing, bring the, bring the rain gear just in case. Let's go in the future cast. So we're gonna go through tonight. It looks like, yes, Michelle, we are done. No, we're not done. We're just getting some clouds and some patchy fog. You're seeing how this is coming from the south. This is the remnants of fret. And you're seeing how it's dumping some heavy rain, especially for McKean, Powder County, Allegheny, and Cattaraugus counties. You're seeing it come through, and we're also borrowing some moisture, making its way over to the Niagara frontier. So everyone's getting in on a little bit, but the brunt of this are these four counties here that I just listed. And then you see that counterclockwise rotation with that subtropical system as it moves on its way out. Well, it's a tropical depression and then it'll be a remnant low by then, but still, I mean, you're seeing some rain and then those winds come in from the north, changing things. But because of all that moisture from Fred, We've got a flash flood watch. Remember I was telling you, McKean County, Cattaraugus, Allegheny counties, 5 a.m. Wednesday until 2 a.m. Thursday. That's when this flash flood watch is in effect. So let's put some numbers on it. What are we looking at rain? This is from 7 p.m. tonight until 7 p.m. tomorrow, 24 hours. You're looking about a little over an inch. But here's the things here. So 0.4 inches in Batavia, just west of that, you're seeing that red and purple there. So it looks like it's not too bad, but there's localized areas of flooding, and that's why we said, with the uh, severe, with the flash flood watch. There's areas of localized potential for flooding. I don't want to scare you, I just want to prepare you, so keep a heads up. Someone told me to tell you guys to keep the pets safe in the flooding too, so I just want to put that in there. Scattered showers tonight with some patchy fog, those overnight lows, upper 60s to low 70s, warm and muggy tonight. Tomorrow, warm and muggy again. And in fact, in the seven day, I'll show you, but look at that. We got a pair of seven scattered showers and thunderstorms as the remnants of Fred make their way north. Now let's get to the seven day. Warm and muggy, warm and muggy, warm and muggy. Yep, that's the name of the game for the whole seven day. Look at that 80 degrees and those temperatures are on the increase. As you head into the weekend and at least for the first part of next week, that's looking quite dry and we're going to need that with all that unsettled weather that we get.